Welcome to another episode of Coast Life. I'm Gabby. And I'm Nicole, and we're your guides to all things Coastside. Yeah. And Let's get started today, right, Gabby? Yeah. Along the Pacific Coast, uh, we are going to go along a small town named Pescadero. Then we are going to check out and take a look at Jade Week in San Francisco. Followed by an in-depth interview of Mutiny's, Mutiny Radio's second annual rap battle located in San Francisco. And we're also going to take a look at the Stone Grove, Stern Grove Festival, also located in San Francisco. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? it? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a really stacked up show for you guys today. And I'm, I'm really excited to get started, you know? Definitely. Definitely shout out to all the artists out there. We have some rap artists, fashion artists, performing artists, people yeah. who make art. We definitely have an art theme on this episode today. So shout out to all the artists out there that are, <laughs> you know, watching this because this is, this is an episode for you. All right, Gabby, let's all take right. it away. Let's do it. So in Pescadero, there was an annual festival. There's an annual festival to showcase local artists and raise uh, money for the teen center that they're trying to build. Um, but did you know that PATH has been going on for 26 years? Wait, I know we're talking about Pescadero, but what is PATH? So PATH stands for Pescadero Arts and Fun Festival, emphasis on the fun. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I remember you telling me that you I went. Know. And, um, well, it was your first time, right? Yeah, it was my first time. It was amazing. I just felt like there was so much to see. There were local artists, local um, performances, mm -hmm. ton of musicians. I cannot wait to see what is next well, in this clip. Let's take a look at her adventure. All right, let's do it. to promote ham radio, amateur radio in the community that we use a lot during the uh, any storms or natural emergencies and everything around here. Uh, the cell phones don't work in this community and so a lot of people have obtained their ham radio licenses and you kind of use it like a giant intercom. So people have power outages and all of the flood or any help or assistance, then that way there's a good way to call. <laughs> My name is Jane Moss and I live in the area and I've brought my beloved donkey Johnny Appleseed out to the Fun Festival to give a few free donkey rides to the little kids. benefit South Coast Children's Services. Just all the, any kids on this coast, if they need books, if they need pens for school, what backpacks, um, whatever. The thrift store in town also supports them. And so it's, um, we give scholarships. The Arts Festival actually gives scholarships to the graduating high school seniors every year um, for books or whatever they need to, to continue their education. So it's not much, but you know, it helps. Every little bit helps, and they have to apply to us for the scholarship, and then they give them their scholarships. the Pescadero Fun Fest uh, 2017. I have people that uh, buy my engraved pet ID tags and they come back a year later or they come back uh, even in two years and they give me a list and they wait just for me. It's 
it's kind of a fun little festival in that you get to see a lot of people uh, that actually live in the community that may not see it. So it's like a giant class reunion, if you will. And they have some wonderful music and some local food, and you get to see some local art. God, it's grown immensely. I mean, there was maybe 100 people at the first one because it was just basically just the local people. And it, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It's great. Um, you know, anytime you can be along the stretch of the ocean, you can have to be in Santa Cruz. It's one of my favorite spots. I think the, the fact that people can talk and engage, and dance and, and sing, uh, yeah, it's just wonderful here, here in Pescadero. There was a donkey there? Crazy, right? I know. I know you're a child at heart, Nicole, but I think you're a little too old and a little too big to be riding a donkey. <laughs> Sorry. Aw, <Aww>, man. <laughs> well, it's okay. You know, that festival looked like a lot of fun, and it felt like I was there, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, this The festival definitely felt very family-oriented, I would say. Yeah, oh my you God. Agree? I can't even tell you. There were so many local people there from Pescadero, mm -hmm. even though I'm not from there, I felt like a sense of community. I felt like I kind of like fit, like belong there a little bit, you know, it was great. Yeah, and you know, community really means like belonging into that, you know, uh, community. I can't say it enough. Look at me, <laughs> community, community. Um, but uh, I definitely think that Pescadero Arts and Fun Festival, emphasis on the fun, <laughs> represents community very well. Yes, and I cannot emphasize enough the tamales. They were so good, and oh my God, oh, wow. such a great price. Yeah. Yes, and did the did the tamales like uh, <laughs> did you did anything good in return? Like yes, the best part was that the middle middle it was for the middle school kids um, at, in Pescadero to go to Washington D.C. So it helped fund that. So I feel good. Yeah. You're so blown away by it that you're like speechless, I know, right? I know, I'm really am. <laughs> but I know like you did a great cause by eating the tamales, but let's be honest, she was in it for the food. Uh, all right, <laughs> well, it was really good. What's our next topic? <laughs> well, up next we have a video on Jade Week. Jade, who is that? <laughs> no, silly. Jade is not a person, it's a stone. But thanks to Monique Zhang, we have all learned the true meaning of Jade. A green stone, right? Yeah, but it also can come in different colors, such as white, lavender, white and lavender. Wow. Well, let's just take a look at this clip. Yeah, let's do it. Asian sensibility to fashion in San Francisco. 
which we've never had before. This is her third event, and every year it's getting bigger. As we all know, the um, Asian community makes up about 40% of the population, but yet we've never had a uh, fashion impact. And what Monique Shang is bringing is um, uh, Asian uh, sensibility, taking into account the historical fashion of Asia, more specifically China. So a lot of the fashion that you have seen today is a take on a lot of the ancient fashions of China going back three, four, five thousand years. So, as we all know, um, the world is changing. It's a global economy now. Fashion is no longer restricted to what we see in Europe, what comes out of Paris, but also what is coming out of Asia. Monique Shang has brought uh, Asian fashion to the 21st century to San Francisco, so it's totally appropriate. We learned so much about James and fashion, and uh, it was just a wonderful uh, night. So my biggest passions in life are people, technology, and connecting people through technology. But uh, if you know me, you would also know that I'm really passionate about fashion. And for me, fashion is a way to express myself and show respect to the people around me. I love the values that uh, Jade represents, the virtues, which is uh, kindness, goodness, wisdom, bravery, and purity. And those are all values I would love to live in. That looked like boatloads of fun. Boatloads? You're a little corny, Nicole. Whatever, it looked lie. fun. <laughs> the dresses were amazing. The models, I feel like, showed off the dresses very well. Yeah, and the models represented not only the culture, but also Monique's vision. And I also appreciated how diverse the models were. For sure. For all you future fashionistas that are interested in Monique's work, and other events like this one, you can visit ChinatownFashionWeek.com or JadeWeekSF.com. What do we have next, Gabby? All right, what's next, Nicole? Um, well, you tell actually, me. <laughs> I know what's next because we have a we oh. we we oh. have a remake. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm representing oh my PCT. God. Breaking it down. You haters gonna hate on me. Gabby already hating, oh. but I'm going to keep on creating. Yep, that's right. Rap is fun. Rap is tight. I'm from the coast side. All right, all right. Drop the mic. Okay. Wow. I am speechless. And to be honest, I was not hating on you. Okay. Um, I think you may have some potential. Maybe. <laughs> but if you guys haven't guessed it, we have an exclusive look into the rap scene at Mutiny Radio in the Mission, Mission District in San Francisco. Our executive director, Martin Ana Anaya, interviews the local rap artists. You mean Marty Anaya, AKA Annihilator? <laughs> oh, I get it, Anaya, Annihilator. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. That's Let's run that clip while we take a sip of water. <laughs> let's run the clip. All right, let's go. <laughs> I am here with Amanda Rocks and uh, Mutiny Radio FM. Girl, you brought it today, the rap battle. How you feeling? I am feeling super fantastic. It was a great day. Everyone brought their original rap. Right, so this is Afternoon Delight 6.9, and we're on Mutiny Radio. It's every Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. with me, and Sarah Sparkles is my co-host. And uh, this is our second rap battle. It's an annual thing. 
Uh, normally we just kind of wing it and have a lot of fun with guests, bands, comedians, whoever we can con into coming on to our show. Two trailer park go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Get your water. Get, get, get your water. All right, I got my man Russell here, one of the main contestants on this here rap battle. Dude, I got to say, as far as flow goes, I mean... You know, you might not have took home the, the major prize tonight, but ain't nobody got you beat on that flow, man. That's nice. I appreciate that Amanda has brought me back for this, and I'm glad this is our second rap battle. Last year was at, like, in San Francisco. This year at San Francisco again. I'd love to come back. And, you know, competing with these other rappers, it's love. It's, like, it's a lot of fun. A lot of, like, we gained a lot of recognition, and happy to come back to it. Let me ask you, uh, you don't just rap. What's this truffle business? It, it actually became a challenge, then it became a hobby, and now it's actually become a business. As you can see, like, I actually customize and labor them. They're like, well, this is made out of cookie dough and truffle. Russell's truffles, y'all. And this one is crispy, kind of like a Kit Kat and a peanut butter, like, you know, all wrapped into one. That's what I'm talking about. This one's a unique one, a chocolate avocado. That's right, avocado mixed with chocolate. It is very aphrodisiac. But there's uh, but the place you want to find me and Amanda and our truffles, Russell's truffles, is Swingin' Door in San Mateo. Hey, Russell, I like you, your wraps, and your truffles. I drop knowledge, I'm a diamond in the rough. I shine a piece of coal, trying to reach my goal. My power is speech, unimpeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These New York City streets get cold. I show that. I am here with Sam, the man, the winner. Man, you hit it, man. You did that rap battle thing today, dude, and you won, dude. How are you feeling? I feel great. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed freestyling. I enjoyed the uh, framework with all the bonus points. So I tried to make the most of it. Dude, I mean, you know, here's what I'm talking about. Now, she threw out all these little, uh, little, little things that you had to do to get bonus points, and I'm sure you hit every single one of them. I mean, are you clairvoyant, or how do you do that? No, I just practice freestyling yeah. a lot. I was I chilling on PCT. I aimed to write sweet briefs to bring relief, like beat police at a precinct. Meet and greet, dead beats beat a retreat, and geeks take a seat and tap their feet until the sheet is complete. But I'm checking the crowd and I'm thinking out loud, just looking around. Yo, I go to ground in, bust rhymes and fly higher than a stealth fighter pilot on go pills. I said that earlier. I'm just gonna chill. Yo, this is a shout out to PCT. Want to say thanks to all the participants and all the hosts. Had a great time. Cheers. Listen to Afternoon Delight, 6.9 on Mutiny Radio, and watch lots of Pacific Coast TV because <laughs> they're an awesome station. Yeah. Well, you know what? Couldn't have said it better myself. This is Marty and Naya uh, for uh, Coast Life. We're out of here. <laughs> and this is Amanda Rocks. Good night. Tonight, not throwing away my shots. I am not throwing away my shots. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shots. I am not throwing away my shots. I am not throwing away my shots. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shots. Man, that was pretty cool. And <laughs> did you know, Gabby, that... Mutiny Radio is a collective-run, nonprofit community station. No, I didn't, but man, do I feel hyped up after that. <laughs> Come on, Gabby. I think you have some rap skills underneath you. No, 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 no. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. This is my rap. It's kind of whack. I don't know what to say, but Nicole's going to make me do it anyway. Word. Ooh, see, I knew oh, you had it in you. Maybe not as good as me, but she had it in her. <laughs> Props for you, right? <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm ready, and I don't feel like you're ready, but for next year's rap battle, uh, I am ready. <laughs> And for all, all you right, rappers all right. out there that is that are ready, you should definitely get out there and listen to Mutiny Radio's podcasts. And if you'd like to listen or find out more information, you can visit pcrcollective.org. All right. And I hope, sorry to cut you off there, Gabby, <laughs> but I hope you guys do some better rapping than us. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> all right. Well, next up is the Stern Grove Festival located in San Francisco. And unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to go this summer, but I heard it's been a blast. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't gone either. And this year they were celebrating 80 years 
of performing arts. Yes, yeah, Stern Grove is an admission-free festival held every Sunday all summer long. This festival is geared towards families that enjoy re relaxation, the natural amph amphitheater that's surrounded by a ton of redwoods and fir trees. The San Francisco Symphony was actually the first concert in Stern Grove in 1932. This next clip is courtesy to us by Panhandle Productions, and it's called About Stern Grove. Let's, Let's check it out. Clip. Walking into the festival from the main entrance, you leave the busyness at the corner of 19th and Slope behind, and within 20, 30 steps, suddenly you are in the middle of this eucalyptus forest. You're surrounded by these huge trees and the birds singing, and sometimes you'll see the chipmunks, the squirrels skittering across in front of you and it envelops you. You suddenly feel like you're in a completely different world and then the fact that you're going to see a performance, it's this wonderful atmosphere that I don't think you can find anywhere else. The meadow where the concerts take place. It's absolutely beautiful. It becomes alive when the music comes on. Everything is like one big harmonious scene. People come early, they come with the paper, they come with picnics, they come with extended families. I mean, it's a wonderful outdoor festive event. Stern Grove is different. There's really no other place that I know of in the city that has this sort of party, picnic, and music together. Stern Grove is here for everybody. I mean, if you have 20 bucks to donate, great. If you have five bucks, cool. If you can't donate from week to week, that's fine, which means everybody gets to come. It's a part of San Francisco history. It just feels like it's a really blessed spot. You want a city that's a world-class city? You've got to have culture, and not all of it has to cost an arm and a leg. People kind of tend to stay in their little area of the city, I feel like. And something like this brings people together, you know? Uh, everybody seems to be here, the young, the old. I'm here with my five-year-old son. Made sandwiches, got some fruit, brought it on down. When we came in, we found a spot, spread out. It was fantastic. You look around, there's like people's grandmothers and little babies. People are, seem like to be having a good time. I think some people are here to see us, some people are here to enjoy the day, but like, it's good for like the general morale of the city in a way, you know? Positive contract! Positive contract! Positive contract! have this wide range of musical and performing acts that come out here. It really makes for a wonderful cultural mix. The music is great. Being here and listening to a set and seeing the set, I'm inclined to go and listen to more of that and find out about different kinds of music. The Stern Grove staff does a great job of trying to find music that everybody can come to during the summer season. You can go see the symphony here, you can see some hip hop, you can see some blues. I used to come to concerts in Stern Grove all the time. And all these things to me had a part of why music is such a big part of my life and why I have a career in music. She's been coming since she was in the womb, so every Sunday, summertime, like this is the number one thing that we look forward to doing. It's a great feeling. I've been coming here for probably about 15 or 20 years now. People are really friendly here, you know, everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's happy, everybody's in a good mood. People get up and dance, people sing along, people dance with strangers, you know, that they haven't met before they got here. So it's nice to bring everyone together because it shows, you know, um, that's what the city is made up of. And the entertainers here, it seems that they want to be here as well as the folks who come to see them. I want to see people up in the trees, man, this is awesome. It's like, you know, I wish I could see us play. You see. A, a, a hillside full of faces that you can almost pick out individually, so you really are playing for each individual member of the audience. My feelings when I walk down that road, I feel like it's my community, and by the time I get down to the hill, I know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna have a great afternoon. It's just one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites. I love Stern Grove. <laughs> you can't beat it. Quality entertainment and um, quality people all day long. Well, I don't think it gets any better than this, especially to be an urban area to have this. This is a wonderful resource. If you haven't had the experience of coming to a concert at Stern Grove, you need to have one.
Thank you, Panhandle Productions, for sharing that with us. If you are a video producer or want to produ produce a video, please visit us at pacificcoast.tv for more information. That, that video was awesome, huh? It was amazing, yeah. Um, the scenery looks so beautiful there. It really did. Yeah, and it looked like the crowd came prepared. Not only did I see like their preparation, but they def they brought blankets, they brought wine, they mm -hmm. brought food, food, they brought anything and anything that you can bring to a music festival, yeah. which is pretty cool that they allow all that stuff there. I know, and how lucky are we? to be living in a city where we're able to watch live performances for free. For like, free? For free. Like, for how free. awesome is that? <laughs> for the free. For the free. I'm so down to go next summer. And if you are interested in going next year or next summer, please visit sterngrove.org for more information. I had such a fun episode, Gabby. This was great. We learned so much. Yeah, we learned about PATH, P uh, Pescadero Arts and Fun Festival. We also learned that Jade is not a person, but it's a stone, and there's a significant meaning behind it. But Jade can be a person, correct? <laughs> I guess so, but it's not. <laughs> all right, all right. But Jade Fashion Week was definitely one for the books. It was. And you can't forget my rad rap, that, uh, Gabby. Yeah, you should definitely try that out, Nicole, next year. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but Muni's radio rap battle definitely inspired me. Yeah, definitely. And, um, well, I guess this was everything, right? That was so yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, and uh, hopefully we can go to Stern Grove together next time. Uh, if you guys want to check out anything else, uh, don't forget to visit us at PacificCoast.tv. I'm your host, Nicole. And I'm Gabby. And we're your guides to all things Coastside. See you guys next summer, next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right.